Happy Wednesday. It's the middle of the week, which means it's time to do some drawing with me. And I hope you are all ready to get creative and let things just calm down a little bit. Take it down a scotch, take it down a notch, relax your bodies, relax your minds. Drawing should be the kind of activity that does not stress you out, okay? Should make you feel good. And remember, the results of these drawings should not be something that you judge your amazing talent by. No, no, no. These are just exercises for you to do a little bit of work on drawing things at certain angles and comparing and measuring and so on, but in a really simple way, right? We try and keep these drawings so that anybody at any skill level can join in and follow along and then create something they're happy with. And also you can expand on these drawings. You can make them your own. You can personalize them in a fun way, right? So that's pretty cool. I hope you're all staying safe and sound out there and happy and healthy as best as you can in this very strange time that we're living in, right? Say hi to some folks in the chat. We have Flynn here. Hey, Flynn, how's it going? And Samuel and Steve and Sam and Mallory. And I see Paloma and Misty. How's it going, folks? And Tom, KB, all right. Thanks for joining me, everybody. Why don't we get to some uh, drawing? Hey, before we do, I wanted to ask you a question. Uh, did you hear about that painting? that got accused of a crime. Now, personally, I think it was framed. <laughs> Alrighty, why don't we get to do some drawing now together? Remember, to do this, you will need a pencil, a pen, a stick, or a crayon, or uh, maybe a nice long samurai sword that you can dip in some ketchup and then just paint all over the floor with. Doesn't matter to me. You have to be able to do three simple things with these drawings. One, a straight line. See that? Straight line. Two, a zigzag. And a curvilinear line. Could be an S-curve, C-curve, shallow C-curve, whatever it takes, okay? If you can do those three simple things, you can draw along with me. And we're going to start today with a line at a slight angle, okay? Now watch this. This is going to be a long one. It's kind of going to determine almost the entire width of our drawing today. And so what I always tell you is you don't have to draw a straight line perfectly straight. Don't worry about it if it's a little wobbly. But if you have an extra long one to draw, one of the cool things you can do is you can just break it up in stages. And I'll do that right now. Check this out. I'm going to go one. Okay, and then I pause for a minute. And then continue it. Okay, pause for a minute. And then continue it. See that? By giving myself a couple little pauses like this, it's easier for me, for me to make it mostly straight and not have that pressure of trying to like all in one go do this. Now I can do that, but I'm a trained artist and I've been using my arm and my hand and my wrist for a long, long time to learn how to draw straight lines. And one of the keys is you draw from your shoulder, l'épaule en français, right? And that's gonna help. You lock your wrist, you draw from your shoulder, you'll get some straighter lines. But hey, if you don't wanna do that, you wanna break it up in little pieces, you can do that as well. So you see we've got an angle here. I'd say it's about a what, like a 30 degree angle, something along those lines, I'm not sure. All right. Now, carrying on, our next step is we're going to travel about one third of the way down that line, about a third, right? So about here. Okay, so uno, dos, tres, looking at about a third. And we're going to draw a line straight up this away. Okay, now when I say straight, I don't mean 90 degrees up straight on your page. I mean up about like this, okay? So here we go. Just carry up this way. Now you may be asking, well, how long is that line? Okay, I look at this one. Right, and I swing it on up this way and I say, oh look, this one's a little bit longer. It's a little longer than that line. Good to know, good to know. All right, now I'm gonna travel down about this far here, okay? So not this total distance, but about to like here. And I'm just gonna draw another line. This one's gonna come out about this far to here. You can always make yourself a little, um, a little dot to aim for if you like. But I'm just gonna wing it. Here we go, I'm gonna draw it out this way to about there. Alrighty, so far, so good. 
Now, does this line come up all the way out to where this ends? No, it's not that far. How long is it? Well, look, it's about the same distance as from here to here, right? It's about that length, only it's going this away. That's the beginning of our drawing. Any guesses as to what we're drawing? I know it's early yet, but hey, why not just throw out a guess? Why not? Okay, next, here comes a right angle. We love right angles because we can sort of see those in our head, right? So I go up this way, and I'm going to corner it down this way. Corner down like so. Gotta love a right angle. Those are easy to, easy to find, right? And you know you never argue with a 90 degree angle because it's always right. I know, I know. Sorry about that. Okay, here we go. This is going to be a little C-curve, down like so. See that? Follow from that line and C-curve out like so. How are we all doing out there? All right. Samuel says, is it a surfing Santa? Hmm, good question. Hello from snowy Toronto, from Sherry. Nice to see you. Thanks for hanging out. Okay, we're going to carry on now. Another right angle, right off the same line, about this much distance here. We're going to come down like this. See that? All right, carry that a little down, a little further, because I want to connect these two like so. Aha, 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 aha. All right, are you ready for a big curvilinear line? We're going to curve all the way up and down to about here. All right, if you want to make yourself a little mark to remind yourself, hey, that's kind of where I'm aiming for, right? You can do that. You want to make a little dot on your page. We're going to come up and down. Watch, here it comes. It's a long one all the way down like so so there's a big curve now right here where I drew that line popping out in this diagonal I'm gonna draw another one straight from that point right there where they touch this first line and that third line from here to here alrighty check it out ba -ba -ba -bum, like so all right and then from there I'm gonna come down this away like so See that? Well, upside down letter V. Okay. And now look at the width that we have between this line and this line. I'll tell you right now, folks, that's a boot. That is a boot. I want to mirror that same width. I'm going to come down, and right here I'm going to curve to connect. Curve to connect. Let me do that again. Zoom in so you can see this. Curve to connect with that first line. I'm going to make that just a, whoops, just a hair longer, just a hair longer. Want a little bit more space there. All right, now imagine I'm passing back behind this boot with this one, and I'm going to make a curvilinear line up here and over. Watch this. Up and over. See that? A little, like a little bump right there. So far, so good. Maybe so far, so great. I can't see your drawings. I imagine they're fantastic. All right, are you ready for another right angle? So right here, okay, I want you to step down a notch, right about here, and I want you to draw a right angle. We're going to come out this way. All right, see that? And then we're going to actually carry it out a little further later in the drawing, so just keep that in mind. But right now, we're going to pop up like this, and then we're going to travel straight back and connect. So, so, so. Like so. How does that look? How does that feel? Okay, I like it. I like it. All right, now we're going to connect. I'm uh, sorry, we're going to carry this out a little bit farther. Okay, carry it out a little bit farther. How far, you might ask? Well, okay, let's check this out here. Um, see right here at the curve of this, this where maybe where the knee is for this person? That's what that is. I'm going to travel straight up from there, straight up to about, let's see. That feels better to me. That feels better. All right, right here where this curve meets this curve, I'm coming straight on up. Bam! There's my target. Because this line's going to go all the way out to there. Okay, there you go. Another right angle. Look at that. How convenient. Right angle. And now a big curvilinear line to here. Curvilinear. Boom! See that? I went too fast, didn't I? Curvilinear. All right. Where does it stop? It stops about halfway between here and here. Okay. And then just a little curvilinear line like that. Okay, another curvilinear. Boy, we're having a curvilinear line party here. We're going to do one up this way and over. Okay, and it's going to be like a letter C. And it's going to come all the way down to about here. Watch. 
down to about there. See how I leave, left a little gap right there? Because I'm going to do this, make a little straight line right there. Aha, I know what that is. That is a mitten, a hand and a mitten, okay? And right from here, where these two lines meet, I'm going to pop on out this way. Check it out. Up -a we go. Okay, very nice, very nice. Alrighty. And carrying on here, another right angle, right angle, and then slight curve down this way, slight curve. Now for this mitten, we're going to have it facing forward, so watch this. I'm just going to come up and over like so. See, that's like kind of like an egg popping out of there. And then just a little line right there. That's it. That's all you need. Okay. Oh, here's the fun part. We're going to do a little face. Now remember, you can make this look like whoever you want. This could be anybody. All I'm going to do is give you a couple little tips here. We're going to go out like this and back and then up and over just like that. That's it. Out, back, up and over. And then we're going to come straight on down like that. Out, back, up and over, straight on back at an angle, just like that. And now comes the customization, right? Make that face look however you want. You want to do some hair, no hair at all. You want some curly hair, some straight hair. Whatever you want, you want to color this in. You can color it in. I'm just going to do this. I'm going to do a little up and down kind of line like that for an eye. And a little one and a two. I like a little heart shape up here for some hair. Because the rest of this is a hat. Now, let me show you how fun this is. See this line that's coming up and over this way? I'm going to S-curve that. I'm going to come out and all the way out to about here. Watch this. S-curve. See that nice long S-curve? S-curve. And here comes another S-curve. I'm going to S-curve up this way, out that way, and up this way. So here we go. S-curve. Straight off of that line from the back. Right up and over. And then right here from this corner, see where this line and this line connect, I'm just going to come up and over like that. Give ourselves a little um, part of that hat there, the base of the hat kind of folds up and over. You know, maybe it's another color. You can color that in however you like. Now, here's another fun thing we can do. Are you ready for a little scarf? Right here from this corner where this line is, I'm going to carry that same line that goes from the arm straight through all the way back. And look at that. How fun is that? One, two, all right, and here comes the third one. Now the third one's going to swoop on back and it's going to hit right here, but not all the way up to the total height of the scarf. Watch. Down we go and back. See that? Because I want to leave a little, little room up here to come back this way. Okay, I'm going to cut through and just do this. Uno, dos, and how fun is that? I love it. All right, now, of course, we've got a little sled here, so let's finish off that sled. Here comes a C-curve right here. C-curve, up and over. See that? All right, now we got to have some kind of way to control this sled. Or maybe not. It's up to you if you like chaos, if that's your thing. Um, but here's what I'm going to do. I am going to, right here at the bottom of this mitten, I'm going to make a nice, big, wiggly-wiggly line. Watch this. It's going to come up, over, and stop right there and see how I leave a, just a little bit of space, a little bit of space. So we go up, over, and back. And then right here next to it, for some contrast, I'm going to go up, come through, and then a wiggle. And look at that. That's fun, right? Or you could do this. You could go up, around. You could do a little loop. So many choices. Do whatever you want. You want to just, you know, make it interesting. Make it interesting shape. I'm going to do two loops. I don't care. Do whatever you like. I like that single loop. That's feeling good to me. That's kind of fun. Yeah? Ah, and last but not least, check this out. We're going to go one, two, three. Three C curves in a row. Bump, bump, bump. There's that snow. Want some action lines? Here's a thing to do with action lines. You go short, long, short. A little pro tip for you there. Okay. And there you have it. This person is sledding on down the hill. That is our You Draw It for today. And that's fun. I like that. 
Now we're going to follow this up with a doodle game. We haven't played the doodle game in a long time, so it is time to do some doodling. Now, if you haven't done this with me before, the way it works is I'm going to draw two doodles, and you tell me what you see. We're going to start with the one on the left. So the first doodle, here it comes, one, two, and three. There. Now, what do you see in this doodle? Could be the side of someone's face, could be the back of an animal, could be some kind of object that you see day in and day out. Want me to make it more interesting? Check this out. I'll do that. Now it's even more full of possibility, right? So this is our first doodle. You tell me what you see in that doodle. I'll check out the chat and we'll see what we come up with, all right? And then if there's time, we'll do another one on this side. But we'll see, maybe there's no time because we do have to do the animal and activity game. You know we gotta do that animal and activity game. That's a big deal. And that is vital, right? Um, okay, let's see. Elf on a shelf. Rudolph. Rudolph. Oh, that's fun. Rudolph, let me see if I see Rudolph. Hey! I love it. I love it. Check this out. We're going to go up this way. Okay. We're going to carry that over. We're going to go like that. And we're going to come back this way. And then back through there. Okay. There's a little... Look at this. Look what's happening here. I go back this way. Holy cow. This just worked out great. Rudolph. Gang, you're on it today, aren't you? You ate your Wheaties, Breakfast of Champions. And we are gonna just go like that, and like that. And you know what I need? I need that. Hey, that was a great one, well done. Hey, you know what? I think we're gonna stop there because I do wanna to get to the animal and activity game, but you couldn't ask for a more perfect doodle than, than that, and I, I just think, wow, well done for seeing that Rudolph in there. I definitely didn't see anything like that. And um, that kind of made my day, I gotta say. Um, whoops. Hang on a second. You hear that, right? That is the alarm for our appreciation station today. Hey, 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 Ruth. Ruth, if you're out there, we appreciate you. Ruth, I just wanted to tell you, remember that time I was building a super robot in my garage and I wanted to take over the whole world and I was just having some trouble with it. And you came over and gave me the most incredible advice about how to fine tune those laser beams that were going to shoot out of its eyes, which was just something I was struggling with. But uh, boy, they turned out pretty awesome. And they were devastatingly destructive, I have to say. Fortunately, I got caught up with some other little bits and pieces, and um, that's now rusting in the garage. You know, I have other creative projects. Um, but I do want to thank you for stopping by and helping me out with that that one time. That was really, really cool. Anyway, thanks. Okay, so it is time for us to continue drawing. Um, and we're going to do the animal and activity game. Now, this is where you suggest for me an animal doing something strange, funny, bizarre, weird, unexpected. And I'll try in the time we have remaining to get that drawn for you. We've done all kinds of cool things, animals on skateboards and and surfing and skydiving and doing whatever. Um, you know, just reading a newspaper, whatever. Animals don't usually do that. And uh, that's what we do with the animal and activity games. So I need for you, please, to suggest for me an animal doing something strange, something funny, something unexpected. And I will do my best to draw it. I'll look for your suggestions in the chat. I have my light blue pen ready to go for my sketch, and then I'll take it to the final. And I've got about five minutes or six minutes to do this, so let's see what we can accomplish together. We have a hippo dusting a cabinet. I love it. A nightingale playing the flute. A raccoon decorating a Christmas tree. Ha ha ha. A polar bear in a jacuzzi. Samuel Hauser, you got it. That's the one for today. I love these suggestions, folks. And we are going to do the polar bear in the jacuzzi. So, we're going to have this polar bear. He is going to be chilling. Let me get the polar bear ears there. They've got those smaller ears off on the side, actually. You've got to get my the head shape right. It's always tough, isn't it, to draw to draw bears. You gotta think about they have this like it's weird how their heads are designed. Come 
kind of wider kind of a bear head, I guess, if you think about it, the way a polar bear's head is. So he is relaxing, maxing and relaxing right there. And I think I'm going to have give him a little, a nice little drink. He's really just cozy. What do you think? Something fancy, you know, like with a little stir in it, something like that. Now, polar bears are large animals, so I think he's going to occupy a good bit of this, a lot of this this space in this jacuzzi. It's it's going to be kind of like full. And let's give him some controls over here. Look at a control panel. Got a fancy jacuzzi with the jets and all that kind of cool stuff, right? And uh, off in the distance, you can see some snowy hills. Maybe there's some some water there. And uh, put a little sun right there. Actually, I want to make that bigger. Woo! Bigger, bigger, bigger. All right, polar bear. You are just having a good time. All right, I'm not feeling too good about that face. I want to, I want to re rework some of that. I feel like structurally, I need to think about how that goes. It's going to come up and out like that. One ear on that side, the other one there. Ah, that's the key. Get that forehead down. That feels better. I like that. It's gonna be like sunken into the snow, you know what I mean? There, all right, and now, let us knock that back, as we do. Come right over the top, grab a darker color, and let us take it to final. Here we go, one, two, three. There's that big nose. Get that other ear over on that side. And make sure I break up those lines there when describing the limbs, you know, the body, etc., just so we get a little bit of a indication of the texture there. You know, it's fur, so you can't just use straight lines. You know, for example, here, that's probably a mistake. Probably want to do this, one and two and three, something like that, right? That's better. You know, I learned something about polar bears. Their skin, you know, under their fur, is actually black. That's the color of it. And uh, they have two layers of, of fur, apparently, which is pretty cool. Yeah, things I didn't know. You know, I think this looks kind of like more like a grizzly bear. I'm not even sure exactly how to describe 
the difference. I know it has something to do with like the head shape, but uh, you know, what are you gonna do? Alrighty, well gang, what do you think? What do you think about that? Sun right there. That's fun. Well, thanks for joining me. I hope you enjoyed that. Um, I hope you all take care of each other, take care of yourselves. And uh, remember, please, to stay kind. Do hang out with me tomorrow at the same time. We'll do some more drawing. Hope you enjoyed it. Everybody, ciao for now. I'll see you soon.